Welcome to my comparison of TubeBuddy versus vidIQ, two of the most powerful YouTube tools out there. But honestly, it's not even close anymore, at least for me. I picked my favorite in just a few features flat, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through why. Now, I'm going to start with the biggest reason why I used to lean towards TubeBuddy, and they had a solid A-B split test feature for testing thumbnails and titles. That alone kept me using it for a while. But now that YouTube offers something similar built in called test and compare, I just haven't found much reason to go back, especially when vidIQ brings so much more to the table, which is what I'm going to be showing you. Now here is why I switched on over to vidIQ, and of course, if you haven't gotten to test them out, you can click the link down below in the description or the pinned comment. They do come with the ability to use them for free, and one thing I love about it is their clean interface. It's easier to navigate, it's way more intuitive, and all you really need to do is hover over on the left section. You have optimize, you have discover, and anytime you go over some of these, you're going to find there's going to be even more bigger features that come along with them, especially with create here, whether it's going to be thumbnails, clipping, daily ideas, script writers, generate, and of course create where you can make new content from ideas. And speaking of features, optimize on the left side is very helpful when it comes to racking up quick wins without even overthinking the process. As it's going to showcase here, it gives you specific scores based upon what you have here for your title, for your thumbnail, you can get content scores, you can figure out what's wrong with your video so that if you want to redo it, if you want to do another video that's similar to it, it'll give you a better understanding about how you can improve. Very easy wins, like if I go to the title here, it's going to give you a score to kind of give you an idea of how much traffic it's going to get if people are going to click on it. People love tutorials for beginners and the fact that they're step by step, so this gets a higher grade. Your mileage is definitely going to vary, especially if you're in a niche that's say viral related where you're looking for more things just to get a lot of clicks and so on and so forth. But you can generate alternative titles. It gives you a review and talks about all the things that you can do better. Ironically enough, in this one, all of these are checked off and good to use. However, if they're not, you can simply click on it and it'll tell you and give you more information. This is a great way to really optimize your videos very quickly based upon what they're doing and what needs improvement. And the outliers feature is crazy helpful. This allows you to discover winning ideas to inspire your next video. So for this example, I'm just going to put in a keyword or phrase, which is landing page, and it's going to allow you to find some of the best videos based upon any type of phrase or keyword. Let's click on this right here. And as we arrive on this page, you might not be familiar with my face, but there I am. I use this very often, very frequently, because it's a great way to see what is getting traffic, what is keeping traffic, and pretty much gets a lot of traffic over time. In other words, it's going to be evergreen keywords that you're looking for. There is me again. And you can do the same thing when it comes to any type of niche, any product, any keyword, any phrase. It's such a great way to get quick wins and ideas when it comes to creating more videos and has worked very well for me. And then there's going to be keyword research, which is simple and effective. Are the numbers always spot on? Definitely not, but they're great for direction in terms of whether you should go for a keyword or not. So if you need even more help when it comes to getting ideas for videos, this is definitely going to help you out here. Once again, type in a keyword or phrase. I have vidIQ right here. You can look for related keywords. You can do for matching keywords or my favorite right here are going to be any type of questions using those like how do you use vidIQ? Does vidIQ come with a free plan? What does vidIQ cost to use? And so on and so forth. And these are great because a lot of people don't go after these. They think that just because it's a question that it's very easy to answer, but I think they couldn't be any more incorrect on that. A lot of the questions are going to be some of the best times before someone makes a purchase or someone is going to be becoming a lead or you just want more traffic in general. Yeah, if you're in the viral niche, it's probably not going to be the best for you. But if you're looking for videos that rank and get you a lot of views over time, this is definitely something you want to check out, especially when it comes to getting more videos video ideas. And then there's the absolute best feature that I haven't seen anywhere else, which is going to be trending videos. And vidIQ shows you real-time performance with views per hour. And like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that, not only not in TubeBuddy, but anywhere else. You go to a channel, you click on the three dots, and you do view trending videos right here. And as you're going to see, a lot of these are going to have very high views per hour. Yes, there's going to be plenty of them that were just launched live. But if you look at these, some of these are going to be like over two months. I've seen some that are even like this one, two years. It's getting an average of 336 views per hour. 
how to create a YouTube channel for beginners in 2025. Clearly they changed around the title there because we know when it was launched, but this is a perfect example of a video you might want to create because it's getting so much traffic and it keeps continuing to do that. Once again, this was five days ago. I would probably just steer away from anything that's less than a month. You want to make sure it's been given enough time to actually get enough views. This one was a month ago, 140 views per hour, seven months ago. You have how much money YouTube shorts make now. Once again, five months, people want to see that. And you can go through any competitor in your niche, any topic, any product, anything related to you when you find a channel, go through, find their trending videos. And it makes it so easy to find videos that are not only getting a lot of views, but have continued to do that over time, which is what I like to call obviously evergreen videos, exactly what you're looking for. And like I said, I have never seen any other YouTube software do this. And this is yet another big reason why I just prefer vidIQ over TubeBuddy. Just pretty much all the features that I mentioned, I think are just much more seamless, intuitive, simple to use. And this one right here is easily the crown winner when it comes to the features. So yeah, after stacking up the features, the winner was very clear for me. VidIQ took the crown and it's helped my channel grow ever since. And that's why I recommend it too, especially if you're serious about taking your YouTube games to the next level. And if you would like to check out VidIQ, they do come with the ability to sign up for free. You can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to do so. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.